Hey guys, welcome back to Storytelling by Data. My name is Lekna and we talk all about career in data, how to become a data analyst and all amazing things to grow as a data and become that data leader. So today's video is all about my data analytics journey of from a non-tech background into a tech background. So with that, let's get started. But before we start, do give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family if you like this video and it helped you even a little bit. So in this video, we will be talking majorly about my education background and the, my exposure into the data world and how I, have, I worked, I went on to work as a data science analyst and then moved into a data analyst. And now my current role as a data senior data governance analyst. So if you want to follow me at, on a day to day basis, head on to my Instagram uh, at storytelling by data. So let's dive right in. So my educational background, I actually come from like a family where not uh, many or with not many, many engineers. So it was really hard or, you know, to even ask for mentorship or coaching by anyone within my family or close friend circle. So I was fortunate enough to uh, get a degree in industrial management. Uh, I was the first woman in my family who, who went on to do engineering. Uh, and with that, I even came to the United States to, to do my MBA, thinking that, you know, I will probably do some sort of marketing or finance related stuff. But little did I know that I will get into data. Being from a, a non-technical, never ever have I, did I think about moving into the, the tech space, uh, especially into data. So how did I get into it? Uh, so let me tell you or take you back to a quick story of my journey. When I completed my MBA, I uh, had my specialization in supply chain management. And during the time when I was looking for a job in supply chain, right after I graduated, I could not get a job in supply chain. Uh, that was the, the, P, the low of supply chain industry and there were very few jobs. I knew that it was analytics that I wanted to do because I was very interested in supply chain analytics. Uh, there's a lot that happens with supply chain analytics and, and it was very fascinating for me. Uh, but I didn't know about data analytics until I started volunteering at some nonprofits here in the United States, I did a lot of social media, some sort of analytics for them too. Uh, that's when I was like stumbled upon it and I got into, um, uh, I, I got to know about data analytics. When I got to know about data analytics, I was like, okay, I think, you know, I need to pursue this a little further. And then when I, you know, Google searched or tried to talk to people, I couldn't get any some sort of help uh, to like help me understand what exactly does a data analyst do. So that's when I figured that there were like three routes that I could take. One was either a boot camp, or the second one is either uh, a master's degree course, like a proper course, and the third one is to be a self-taught data analyst. So I chose the route of a master's degree because at that time I did not have anyone to tell me uh, or guide me in into you know taking the self-taught or the boot camp route, which would have been much faster. Yes, and then I took up my master's uh, degree and uh, and, and I, once I started, I was really fortunate enough to get a volunteering job at a, st a small you know startup um, and then I was really lucky enough to get a really amazing mentor as my the CEO of the startup 
and she helped me in order to mentor and you know uh, teach all the basics of data science and data analytics so when i had her as as my mentor she could she was able to help me to get really good at what i was doing and also help me identify my potential with within the data space so once i got into the data science analyst uh, i was doing my job for free and yes and that is you heard it right i did i did my data science analytics analyst job for free uh i did it for like a couple of months and uh while i was doing my masters in data analytics if both didn't really go in tandem i would say uh there was a lot more things that were taught in academics that really didn't relate to what i was currently doing at the startup so there were a, there were a lot of learnings from the real world and there were a lot of learnings from my academics both obviously were totally different i always felt that why am i learning what i was learning in academics and why isn't you know uh, it is similar to what is in the real world so yeah then i okay by the end of my two years masters degree in analytics i realized that none of it that i learned in my masters degree as at data analytics i hardly used any of them in my real world experience so then that's when i came to a realization that i wish i had taken the self taught route so anyways that's another different story so uh that's my uh, work experience as a data science analyst uh i did really get a really good mentor um and really good network of people in the startup world where i was getting a bunch of job offers in startup but i uh i wanted to move into a bigger company so that's when i i applied uh i'm i'm currently working as a senior data governance analyst for fidelity 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 uh fidelity national financial so then i moved into uh big so then i moved into uh working as a data analyst at fidelity sister company uh where i i really enjoyed the work but um i knew that i wanted something bigger and with some of my leadership skills uh so talking about leadership skills not many people talk about how important these power skills are in order for you to grow in your career and that's what storytelling by data is all about i want all you professionals data professionals to tell me your stories around how important these skills are right we as a a tech people we don't realize how important like small things are like the networking skills the communication skills so these are very important okay that's for another video coming back to how i became a data analyst and what are the different things that i did as a data analyst so when i was working as a data analyst i worked for as a data analyst for two and a half years um where i did a lot of data cleaning uh building power bi reports um and all the fun stuff like sql working on sql and things like that and then um i slowly moved on to become a data governance analyst um i did not take the data science route because i knew that i wouldn't want to go into more uh, of a technical space uh instead i would want to be more on like the the policy the overview the procedural aspects of data because that is something that interests me again it could be different for different people um so with my current role as a senior data governance analyst what i do is i basically oversee all the data across the entire organization so basically 
the entire policy procedures and the oversight of data goes through the data governance um, committee so it's not that it's only me it's a set of uh, higher um, management people involved in this and it's a lot of talking to people skills uh, a little bit of change management skills and there's a little bit of data quality aspects to it uh, so yeah so that's how I have transitioned into this particular uh, role and growing in data and and uh, having that leadership to uh, to to move ahead in your career is really important otherwise you're gonna get stuck and that's not gonna be something good so this has been my journey into uh, the whole data from a non-technical background to a tech world um, I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you really took away at least a few things and uh, if not anything else I hope this this video has motivated you to take that leap of faith and move into the tech world because my friends this space the space of data is only going to grow and I think by uh, 2026 uh, there are going to be 11.6 million data scientist jobs so yeah just just focus and get a mentor get a coach get a guide or someone who can help you on this route in order to speed up the process i spent two years just on doing a master's degree which didn't really help me so yeah get that and keep watching more of these videos so that you know uh, if this could help someone move into data I would be the most happiest person so thank you for the watching this video give it a thumbs up and yeah see you in my next one thank you bye